Um, so I think we're closing off with the last question here. You're one of only 21 female CEOs leading a Fortune 500 company. Why do you think that is, and do women lead differently than men? Yes, I think women must lead differently than men because, again, the statistics show that female-led companies outperform male-led companies. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, um, and I hate to be kind of sexist about it, but I think that we tend to try to be more inclusive in terms of getting a, a, a broader set of opinions around the table and then create environments where people are listening to each other and that just creates better decision making which creates more shareholder value. Um, why are there few, fewer female CEOs? I think it's a number of reasons. Um, women tend to get washed out sooner in every economic downturn. So in tech, before 2000, there were many more female CEOs than post-2000. Most of the female CEOs got washed out. Oh, wow. um, I think women are less tolerant of pain than men. So a lot of my friends have chosen other pathways than being a CEO because they're like, I'm not putting up with this bullshit, whereas men will put up with an infinite amount of crap to grab what they think is the golden ring. Yeah. Um, I think, honestly, you have to work harder and work differently to become a CEO as a female than as a male. There's just a lot of um, you know, latent unwillingness to accept women as equals, and I think we have to acknowledge that and, and deal with it and figure out a way to work around it, and hopefully there will be more in the future. Definitely. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, there's, it's mostly negative. There's only one positive, and that is at conferences, the bathroom's always empty. <laughs> <laughs> what can I tell you? Other than that, <laughs> it's really lonely, so you guys have to hurry up. Well, we'll try. Maybe we can skip a couple years. Of <laughs> I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Yeah, so thank you so much for doing Thank you, guys. Us.